happening? Hey guys, I am DC host of Barside Jive, and you're watching my Daily Dose. Thursday, August 15th, 2019, and my C. Joan Normalcy Day. That's right, 15 folks, day 15. All right, let's talk some rock and roll. 50 years ago today in the rural town of Bethel, New York, on old Max Yasger's 600-acre dairy farm, the date was August 1-5. That's right, 1969. And Woodstock was in its very first freaking day, guys. That's huge, right? Woodstock was originally billed as an aquarium exposition three days of peace and music when it took place from August 15th through the 18th of 69 32 acts performed during the sometimes rainy weekend in front of nearly half of a million concert goers nearly half of a million a lot of folks folks some of those acts were Jimi Hendrix Santana Jefferson Airplane, The Who, Canned Heat, Mountain, The Grateful Dead, Creedence Clearwater Revival, Janis Joplin, Joe Cocker, Blood, Sweat and Tears, Johnny Winter, Ten Years After, Sly and the Family Stone, and the newly created supergroup called Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Sometimes Young. <laughs> Today, guys, Woodstock is remembered not just for the music, but also for the spirit that it engendered. A larger than anticipated audience, estimated at 500,000 people, half a million, created a traffic jam that shut down the New York State Thruway and turned it into a free event. It famously remained peaceful as the crowd endured a rainstorm, a lack of resources, that's not a good thing, and bad brown acid, and that's even worse. Attempts to recreate the atmosphere of Woodstock have largely fallen flat, if not just failed miserably, beginning with the Rolling Stones' disastrous Altamont concert that same December and in 1994, Woodstock's organizers staged another festival, one that was better equipped to handle a large crowd, but the vibes, the vibes guys were just not the same, with a near riot taking place in the mosh pit at the front of the stage during Green Day's set. Five years later, a full-scale riot ensued complete with a giant fire not fireworks but a giant fire 44 people were arrested and eight reported rapes not a fun event right so a planned 50th anniversary festival this year never even got off the freaking ground But anyway, there is an event being held at Bethel at the same site that it was held 50 years ago, much smaller than what was planned, but it's going to be really cool, like, because Arlo Guthrie's there and Santana and a bunch of the original dudes. But the original, the original, the 1969 original remains a cultural touchstone of the hippie idealism of the late 60s and the power, the sheer power of rock music. So guys, I've got like 11 groovy facts about Woodstock 69, do you wanna hear them? Okay, I'm not waiting on you. I'm just gonna go and throw them out there. Okay, number one. Beatles weren't there, shocked me. The Beatles weren't there. Yep, this is the very, this is very true. 
There are, however, varying theories about why they weren't there. John Lennon informed organizers that he was refused a U.S. visa at that time. Mm, possible, but mm, probably not. Although a lot of people believe that the reason behind their absence was because John Lennon's wife, uh, Plastic Ono Band, was refused an invitation by the promoters. More likely, more likely reason. Sounds a little more realistic to me. Anyhow. Second one I've got for you is that Bob Dylan didn't attend Woodstock. You know why? Because back then he said he didn't like hippies. <laughs> I bet he totally regrets that now. Three days of music and no crowd violence. It truly was a magical festival. During the three days of constant music and love with around half a million people at the venue, there were no reported instances of violence. Nope, not one, none, nada. Pot, hashish, hallucinogenic drugs, and drug paraphernalia were available to buy, which led to around 400 reported to experience bad LSD trips. There were a few arrests. The traffic jams were particularly hellish. There was a total shortage of food and still no crowd violence. Fact. Factoid. Babies were born at the event. There were various reports of heavily pregnant women being rushed to nearby hospitals to deliver during those three days. And I just imagine that during those three days, a lot more babies were uh, conceived. That would be my estimation. But, you know, who am I? Oh, well, little known fact, John Sebastian, vocalist of Love and Spoonful, even announced from the stage, some cat's old lady just had a baby. A kid destined to be far out. Thanks. Okay, so my fifth groovy fact. Robbie Shankar found Woodstock terrifying. Apart from being one of the only Indian musicians to perform at Woodstock, go figure, the renowned sitar player did not share his contemporaries' excitement about the festival. He once said that it was kind of terrifying of experience where the large crowds were lounging in the mud. He said it reminded him of water buffaloes back in India. <laughs> All right, Ravi. It's all good. Six. There was a shortage of food, but shortage of food was an understatement. They were completely out of food the first day. Was it a serious lack of planning, or was it just the fact that they really, really, really underestimated how many people were going to show up to attend the event? It's because they underestimated. So it really wasn't their fault, I don't think. But members of the Monticello Jewish community came to the rescue and handed out sandwiches made out of 200 loaves of bread, 40 pounds of meat, and two fish. No, I'm just kidding. Two gallons of pickles. Some attendees also resorted to drinking milk straight from the cow. <laughs> Totally digging that. That was all those folks on LSD. <laughs> Number seven. The festival was named Woodstock, but did not actually take place in Woodstock. 
although it was supposed to be held in Woodstock, New York, the organizers had a hard time finding a suitable location. So, because the amount of hippies that were going to attend the event, they finalized having it at Bethel Woods on some good Samaritan's farm, old Max Yasker, who we've already mentioned. Number eight. There have been four attempts to recreate the festival on different sites in 79, in 89, in 1994, and the disastrous 1999 festival which shut down because of rapes, arson, and overall violence. Mending called it the day that music died. Number nine. Iron Butterfly were stuck at the airport and unable to get to the festival by ground transportation, so they demanded that the festival promoters send a helicopter to fetch them. Fetch them. F-E-T-C-H-E-M. Fetch them. But according to many a storyteller, the promoters sent the band's manager a telegram. The first letter of each line spelling out the words, Buck you. So no, Iron Butterfly did not make it. Number 10. Jimi Hendrix's performance of the Star Spangled Banner has been often called the single greatest moment of the 60s. Even though it was only witnessed by a fraction of the crowd, because most of them had gone home, Hendrix didn't take the stage till 9 a.m. on the last day. Monday morning. <laughs> I feel your pain, Jimmy. That's how many I feel like I'm speaking to right now. <laughs> and number 11. So never mind the Beatles. British musician Joe Cocker played the most beautiful rendition of the Beatles song with a little help from my friends. Another iconic performance in Woodstock history. Well guys, that wraps my rock history lesson for today. It was all about Woodstock, but hey, why not? Devote the whole day to Woodstock, right? It's a big day, first day, 1969, 15th of August. For more rock history, check out my show tonight, 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, vocalnow.com. Just look for the vocal live image. When you get on vocalnow.com, all you gotta do is go to the right of the zoo and fuzz box, look for the vocal live image on your phones, or scroll south, scroll down if you're in a browser. Look for vocal live image, click on it, and at 7.31 p.m. you'll see us live. Be sure to subscribe for free to my YouTube channel. That's where I store everything. YouTube.com forward slash, forward slash, Farside Jive Live. That's it, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me during my daily dose this evening. Sorry it went a little long. Please share and like my stuff. And I will see you guys tomorrow. So peace and love and rock and roll. Sidejivelive.com. Smoking.